just cut it because I have no idea how freaking long the last video went. So Faust is a little tricky to hit. I gotta respect whoever programmed him though. deal about him having a tendency to disappear is surprisingly true. And it's usually because he just hovers right above your head. And what a dick. The, uh, the controller cult here. I hate Cypher so much. He is like the biggest dick in most of these runs. And actually, for this one, I'm gonna go for the factory. This guy's such a cheating pain in the neck. So she's gonna hop in later, and she's gonna be a pain, so he's gonna take her out now, but let him... So Kaiser's gonna lose, I'm gonna tell you that much right away. Oh, you know, that is it. He even bothers to fight him. Okay, fine, they're just gonna go swarm me then. Just get stuck on the corner then. I'm using my own strategies against me. So that went poorly. I think I'm just gonna try and double team him right away this time. Problem is usually if either if uh, Kaiser decides to leave the room, or if they decide to, uh, or if she decides to join in and then all kinds of targeting shenanigans happen. Okay, so. This time he at least got him with the missiles. A little bit. Just stay right there. That's fine, that works. Hey, you don't see me, that's okay. Oh. Yeah, so this is basically the ideal situation. Yeah, even if he gets close, he's gonna go for a blade, but he always veers really far to the left because he's a hover. So you can usually just go to his right, not have any problems, and then just punch it with a rocket. Let me, uh, let me just cut it real quick because I need to check if everything's working right. Okay, I'm done with all that. Took care of, took care of some stuff, etc. I actually just noticed that apparently there is a big black window with my mouse still on it for most of these, so hopefully I can figure out how to crop that out. Uh, not exactly any experts uh, in video editing. But now it's time to fight clowns anyway. So Joker's... eh, 
Doesn't matter. Uh, Harlequin is kind of a pain on this cannon. So usually you um, try to avoid his cannon and that's when he gets you. And his guns... Thankfully, he's so lightweight that he just gets completely blown out of his circle with these things. The benefits of the rocket run and so on. annoying thing about his cannon, like the damage and heat and stuff aside, but that flash always throws me off. Alright, let's see if we can get Shots and Joker here in case getting them out of the way will help me at all. Uh, it's looking, yeah, looking a tad unlikely. Need to need to handle that better. Now with these guys, they have a tendency to team up pretty well. So keeping the pressure off your secondary guy tends to make it a lot easier. Harlequin is uh, OPI. Himself is freakishly accurate. His gun, his machine guns aren't. His cannon can track as fast as he can. His gun can go. Yeah, thanks, Joker. Just, just really put salt in the wound there. And you're just my friend a few minutes ago, jerk. Well, no, he he was helpful. He also helped take on the Leviathan thing. I mean, I guess help in rotation marks because it really wasn't necessary at all. Something like a burning joker. I think what I should be doing is probably trying to get an actually useful partner. Oh, I'm aware I just set on fire a moment ago. Stop mining me, Dick. I need that to see. Alright. I'm gonna swap out for a different helper. Not a fan of Gatos. Gatos or. Hmm. He is a weirdly specific reference. Like, I, I looked it up once, and apparently it's like a painting in, uh, in Spain or wherever of the uh, uh, Massacre at Guernica. Whenever he gets to cheat with OPI, I get to cheat with Royal Mist. 
Fair, fair. That's the main reason this guy is such a pain. Other, other uh, challenges in this so far, like, if you can't dodge something, if you can't do something like that, okay. Like, that doesn't bother me much, because I figure, okay, you can just get better at the game and all that. That blinding thing, like, just irritates me, because I can't see where anyone's going, so I can't really anticipate anything. So, though, my thing to rely on are sound cues, which, hmm, can only be so accurate. No fanfare. I'm gonna just kind of lay down and bend over and take it like last time. It certainly does appear that you're going to. Actually, the main challenge of uh, the fight between these two, they'll almost always take out your partner regardless of who they are. But they'll usually... They usually Fanfare will get him on overheat, and uh, Trafalgar will basically keep him pinned. But, I'm in a pretty good position right now. How big and clunky this is a pretty satisfying fight. Wow, thanks extensions. That's totally what I what I wanted from part. Let's go ahead and drain me out here and not actually stop any of the missiles. Good job. That was a tense one. <laughs> Oof. All right. So with these two, uh, Grand Chief is going to just hang out at the top of the arena, spam down missiles, uh, generally be hard to hit. And flying fix is a charge and shotgun sort. So, um, yeah, thinking he's the way to go because he's gonna keep aiming even if he doesn't actually have a lock. So we want somebody with manual aim to hopefully go and take aim at uh, flying fix while she's up there. I'm gonna have a very hard time. Oh, for crap's sake. Yeah, they're already all over here. So, what I usually do. Oh, never mind, he is screwed. Usually, what I try to do is take out the assist and let them focus on the helper. And then, hopefully, uh, run, uh, run 
sheath out of ammo. The problem is she has a crap ton of missiles. Um, the chief will there um, yeah, Flagstaff here, I think is what they're called. We'll, we'll just keep overheating themselves with their, uh, with their OB over and over. Uh, Next attempt. What I should have done is do the parking garage. It's better for everyone involved. That is not them. It's better taking both of them. We do not wait a second. Crap. Not what I expected to happen. So, a few times using this map, what I was able to have happen is Flying Fix would like charge at me, and then that initial missile spam would end up hitting them instead. Yeah, you just go hump the wall there. They're gonna have a hard time maneuvering here, but their durability is definitely gonna give them an edge. I mean, main benefits all those missiles are just gonna hit the walls. I forget if, uh, if Grand Chief is OPI or not. That might be the one I was thinking of that's practically immune to heat. Get off my anus! So for these two, uh, he is going to bum rush anyone you really pick. So you want to get somebody that can just bum rush and or tank. Now since since the strategy I usually use with, uh, with Valkyrie is just to basically have her lock on over and over in the corner to my right. Um, it's not actually going to work here. Okay, so what I was trying to say, her, uh, she has those stealth extensions, she'll actually keep using them with a lock on even across the wall. But that won't actually work, A, because I don't have anything to lock onto her with, and B, because I need a uh, new bit pump. Hopefully, if all goes well, you can keep them on this, on this end. Just gonna circle straight around, have them get distracted by a gardener every now and then. Or completely not.
Yeah, that's kind of down south. Yeah, that's So because she's a little bit of a pain to deal with, um, and because she doesn't actually do much uh, much damage herself, I typically just try to leave her in that other room and double team this guy. Now using a second copy of Royal Mist does you know does work, but the problem is on a manual run you don't know which one's which. And I just threw away my way. And took a bunch of missiles. Okay, off to a great start. And off night. Another juicy Trafalgar right over there. Of course, you know. No run into his help. Good job. I think we can agree you had that coming. Okay, so yeah, this one's... Yeah, not going anywhere because he decided to be a genius. Although he didn't know how to improve. I guess she wasn't getting stuck properly, and he decided to completely leave the room for no real discernible reason. So... Let get stuck on that pillar. Okay, this guy. Let's use these missiles. Now, the last one is decidedly easier. Now, there really isn't any confusion of identity. And you can just double team ace. Usually, BB will get involved, usually, they'll end up taking out Royal Mist and. better to let them get some of their ammo out of the way before getting involved in that other fight. Um, oh, we're just going to completely bail. The Royal Master decided to take a vacation. Fighting him. I'm gonna try to get him with some napalm. Surprised I haven't hit him with any of these. Oh. Oh yeah, that didn't work great. 
I pin my guy. Well, he does seem to be taking care of BB at the very least. I mean, under a lot of circumstances, once this is all over, both team, uh, both uh, helpers will be down, and Ace will be just about out of ammo. So, but 80% of the time, that seems to be the sense. Like, not just on rocket runs, but just on any run with these three. Oh, that was dead on. Fight. So why don't we come over here? one or two salvos. And it's kind of a cool way that they programmed him that way. They programmed him that way. And it's always like you think, okay, he's running out. Just shotgun and this other stuff. It's fine. I'm just going to dodge back and forth. Oh crap, that's a lot of missiles and I'm now overheating again. Yeah. Yeah. 